So in this case, uh, it is a tetrahedron. A tetrahedron of 50 millimeter long edges is resting on one edge on HP, while one triangular face containing this edge is vertical and 45 degree inclined to VP. Draw its projections. So the tetrahedron is nothing but uh, a solid which has only four faces. It is uh, actually a triangular pyramid in which case all the edges are of equal length. So that is a tetrahedron. It is a special case of a triangular pyramid in which case all the edges are of equal length. So in th that is uh, it is similar to a uh, cube. Cube is a special case of a square prism in which case the height is equal to the uh, base edge. So in this in the case of a tetrahedron, it is similar to uh, a triangular pyramid in which case uh, the slant edges are of equal length as the base edge so that is a tetrahedron so in this case the tetrahedron is resting on one edge it is to be noted that it is resting on one edge on hp while one triangular face containing this edge is vertical and 45 degree inclined to vp draw its projections so first we go for the xy line then the top view of the tetrahedron, since it is resting on HP, since it is resting on HP, the tetrahedron should be positioned like this, with the one of its, uh, it is resting on HP with one of its base edges on HP. So, one of the base edges should be perpendicular to the XY line. So that is why uh, this view is there. Now all these three lines should also be drawn. These lines, these three lines represents the inner three lines. The inner lines represents the slant edges of the tetrahedron. So this, uh, these are the three, so these three triangles represents the three slant faces of the triangle, the uh, tetrahedron. And this total triangle represents the base edge of I mean, base of that particular tetrahedron. So now, this is the, uh, these corners are named A, B, C, and O. Now the front view. Now, when you are drawing the front view, what you have to do is, this triangle you can draw, this is a, uh, what you say, equilateral triangle. So that is easy to draw. Uh, equilateral triangle of side 50 millimeter that you have to draw that is easy then this point how to find out this point joining a with the midpoint of cb or bc as well as joining c with the midpoint of ab and the point of intersection of those two lines will give you the point o point o is obtained as the point of intersection of the lines from c to the midpoint of AB and from A to the midpoint of BC. So that point is O. And the first what you, uh, in order to obtain this point, this line, in order to draw this particular line, first you draw from O, the ax axis is drawn like this. The axis line is drawn from O. Then A is marked here, the point A, A dash is marked here, point A dash is marked here and from A dash, take the distance 50 millimeter that is the edge the length of the edge take the length of the edge as 50 millimeter and uh, cut an arc here so that will give you the point o dash so this is how this edge is drawn this edge is first drawn then you can join this length this uh, point b dash c dash with the o dash so this is how the uh, front view of the tetrahedron is drawn. When the tetrahedron, the front view of the tetrahedron is drawn, first you have to, in this position, that is in this position, when the uh, front view of the tetrahedron is drawn, you have to first mark the point A dash, then the axis, then from A dash, with the true length as, the radius as the true length of the edge, mark a, mark an arc here and that particular point will be O dash. Then join these things. 
So this is how the tetrahedron is drawn in the front view in this position. This, this is 50, the true length. Now what we have to do is what we uh, we need one of this triangular faces as, as vertical. In order to make this uh, edge, uh, I mean the triangular face vertical, this is a triangular face O dash, B dash, C dash. So this is a triangular face O, B, C is a triangular face. So we keep that triangular face as vertical. So that is this particular edge is vertical, this particular edge is kept vertical. And then this triangle is completed. This triangle is completed. This is the axis. Now the top view is also drawn. So the top view is also a rectangle with a middle line, with a line from A1 to O1. So that is it, the top view. Now the next condition is the axis is the, this particular vertical face is making an angle of 45 degree with VP. So in the top view, this is COB. This particular line represents the edge, uh, sorry, the face which is perpendicular to the HP. So we make this edge in the top view, this edge in the top view as making an angle of 45 degree with the XY line. So 45 degrees, C1, O1, B1 is made perpendicular, I mean 45 degree inclined to the uh, XY line in the top view. And that particular triangle is uh, reconstructed here. Then the front view is again projected. So that is it. Only this edge, that is A1, B1 will be invisible. A1, B1 will be invisible in the front view. So the naming... Actually, sorry, this is, there is a slight mistake. Uh, this is not a A1, B1 that is visible, invisible. That is uh, actually C1, O1 will be invisible in this case. C1. O1 will be invisible. Yeah, C1, O1 will be invisible and A1, B1 will be visible. See, uh, here the edge A1, B1 is uh, in the front, uh, in the uh, farthest from the XY line. So it, it should be visible. C1, O1, B1 is visible. A1, B1 is visible and C1, O1 is invisible. Sorry for the mistake. There is another mistake. Uh, in this drawing that is uh, a1 b1 is visible here and uh, c1 o1 is invisible while drawing uh, these things uh, uh, some mistakes comes up some uh, mistakes surfaces sorry sorry for the mistake so it is it should be a1 b1 is visible in the front view but c1 o1 is invisible in the front view that's it <coughs> 